So verse number 73. Nakamya pratisiddhavi kriyavir moksha vasana ishwara nugrahat sasyat iti vedanta dindimaha As all of you know, which already we have discussed, that Ishwara Anugrahat Eva Purushasya Arapumsha Advita Vasana. So when we say that Advita Vasana desire to know the non-dual Brahman Atman can only happen when there is Ishwaraha Anugraha, only when there is God's grace. This is a very big point in Shastra. That's why we bring Ishwara very carefully. That's why we try to relate with Ishwara. We make sure that Ishwaraha has to be part of our life. Because unless and until we invoke Ishwaraha, definitely Advaita Vasana will not come. And moreover, if there is no Ishwaraha, the concept of Ishwaraha, definitely the person cannot live a karma yoga life either. And when there is no karma yoga life, when there is no healthy attitude towards one's own life and especially actions, definitely the person will have more and more ups and downs. So looking at all these complicated issues that one will go through, one will come across, to nullify, to manage, to comfort, Ishwaraha becomes a shock absorber for person. That's why you will find a devotee is more comfortable than so-called Vedanti. Because a so-called Vedanti or I call them as intellectuals are basically confused. They look for intellectual entertainment intellectual satisfaction and moreover when right time comes in their life they fail. In fact I was going through few things, few news today, one sucking news, okay it's not related to this. Sometimes I am not getting into the news details Sometimes the person is expert in something, has achieved a big target, but when same thing happens to same person, the person dies. What a pathetic situation. That's why one need to really imbibe Ishwara Anugraha. That's why if you observe technically, especially in South India, we have this culture. Whenever they go, you know, very popular, this is also like, you know, any Swamiji gives, you know, speech, they don't say Pravachana. They will say Anugraha Bhashana. Sometimes they'll say Anugraham iti. 
So here this Anugraha here is being highlighted. That blessing, the grace of Lord is required for me. Because unless and until there is grace of Lord in me or I imbibe, remember, I will not be a comfortable person. That the basic comforts will not be there at all. You can try any number, any way. That's why he says, Kamya Pratisiddha Vihi Kriya Vihi Moksha Vasana Naiti. Even if a person wants to perform different type of actions, whether it is Kamya Karma, mainly means desired action, maybe I want to go to heaven, the best Kamya Karma. Remember, that is not going to really give you moksha either or desire for moksha because in fact it will strengthen how to go and enjoy that heaven. See how Indra is powerful whether I will get some power or not. It is like politicians in India all over the world. So when a politician or a person joins politics, you think the person wants to serve the country? I am sorry to say, very rarely. Everybody thinks how much powerful I will become. So it is a power game. It is not a service game at all. So how it happens is a common parlance, common parlance that a common person when joins politics, no more interested in service, but pretends that he is man of service. So also, any Kamya Karma, including going to heaven, remember, is not going to, you know, ignite the desire that which will lead for liberation, freedom. And of course, Pratishiddha. So Pratishiddha means there are subtotanam prohibitory actions. So that actions have been prohibited. Suppose one wants to withdraw one's own self. With that also one is not going to get this mokshavasana. Desire to be free because that is the most important aspect in my life. So what is my approach? What really I want? Do I want power position? Do I want little bit here and there, love and affection? Or really do I want to be a free person? That is only determined by a person with the help of God's grace. Let us look at the next verse. Avigyate janmanashtam Vigyate janma sarthakam Gyaturatma na dureshat Iti Vedanta dindima Avigyate janmanashtam as you know, many people ask, what is the purpose of life? So each one talks very big way. My purpose of life is to do something for this nation, for this country. Somebody says, ah, my purpose of life is to do something for my family. Somebody says something for me. Some say for the entire universe. Without knowing what is the universe, okay? <laughs> So each one will talk about purpose of life. And especially in the social media, sometimes I observe few people observe, their purpose of life keeps changing almost every six months. <laughs> anyway, they keep filling their Facebook page, okay, especially. <laughs> 
wish them all the best nothing wrong in it but here he says this is called purpose of life what is that first negatively puts it avigyate what is avigyate when is not known what is one's own self when me is not known to me janma nashtam iti the birth is wasted that's why we say a person bonds a an individual bonds forcibly whereas dies helplessly can you see this point because of one son prarabdha one is born thank god we didn't have any choice imagine had you got choice what you would have chosen the best body according to you at that moment <laughs> best mind according to you that moment parent is based on according to you that moment now changes what will happen it is exactly like i notice one small thing like you know when we were growing up a teenager this is a pants model keeps changing so it was very funny okay first it started you know long veil that uh, towards the leg there will be big such a you know this big distance you can make you know like ju 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 sound will come tak 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 and the worst thing is there will be zip also half of the that so that it will not get caught it's a very funny thing so whether to put that or not it was a big question mark then suddenly what happened it got changed then after one or two years again got changed and one fellow came and jeans came you appa that was the most painful thing and the worst thing was that the jeans can stand just like that standing is okay standing with the sweat and dust okay <laughs> not with anything <laughs> and it is tings <laughs> and after a few days again that model also change what i am highlighting here is my mind keeps changing according to the situation according to the surroundings imagine if i had choice to choose my parentage and everything what disaster i would have gone through at least now i can blame my prarabdha at least i can blame god if nothing else i can claim blame stars or my parents now in this case i cannot blame anybody imagine that's why thank god that's why what we need to do here it says beautifully abhigyate janma nashta iti so the birth becomes useless that's why one need not die helplessly one must not live helplessly forget about death never ever allow yourself to become helpless and this is what i have seen for myself whenever my ego is strong the situation or other person makes me helpless the helplessness that is strong in me that is deeper in me that is powerful in me not because of people not because of situation but because of my ankara ego that is not able to accommodate or deal if my ego is able to accommodate is able to deal absolutely no problem but unfortunately i am not at ready i am not at prepared that's why it says at the same time vigyate janma sarthakam iti 
when one's own self is known this birth becomes meaningful this becomes useful in fact fulfilled the purpose is a taken care the purpose is being achieved so the purpose of life is what atma gyatum gyatuiti why he gives a beautiful point gyatur atma no dure shakti means to know something that is far away is difficult but this atma this know remember the the object of known and the knower are not far away imagine whole life what we are doing we are trying to know anything and everything except about me except me that which is related to me i am more interested to know everything about person about situation about anything and everything i want to know why so that i can deal better that is called subconscious driven thought but if i am not known to me even though i know anything and everything in details what will happen and interestingly the object of know and the one who wants to know both are one and same there is no distance at all but this know wants to know anything and everything that is far away from me him or her because there is no challenge whereas the more i try to know myself more i am being challenged by myself can you see this point more i lose my identity the ground reality that i am holding on the falsification that i have created the notion that i have built on literally collapses that's why many people are not interested they will say it is better to not better to be a devotee than to know one's own self so that i am not being challenged can you see this point better to know that let us read the next verse dasamasya parigyane nayaso asti yatha tatha swasya brahmatma vigyana iti vedanta dindimah iti vedanta dindimah he brings this example popular example दशम से परिज्ञानी न आयास अस्ति यथा यथा आज वी सी दिस एग्जांपल दशमो नष्ट सो वी से परमानंद शिष्य दे आर स्टेइंग इन ऋषिकेश सो अदर साइड ऑफ ऋषिकेश अदर साइड ऑफ द गंगा सो देर वाज यू नो भंडार so vandara means food along with dakshina comes okay <laughs> so invitation came so this all the students thought of you know going to for vandara to have some experience they came and asked the guru guru said okay you go no problem but how many of you are going 10 of us we are going fantastic go but make sure you all 10 should come back and one person took in charge Yes, Guruji, I am taking in charge. I am in charge now, so we will come back ten people. We are going ten. Come back. So they went. So there was no boat. There was no bridge. Nothing. So they had to swim. So young Brahmacharya, you know nothing to do. So okay, let us cross, swim across the river. Then they swam and went other side of the river. After reaching the other side of the river, there is some doubt. 
The doubt was whether Cain have come or not. Anyone has, you know, washed up in the river or what? They started counting. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Each one started counting. Nine. Where is it? We came ten, but only nine. But who is missing? That was very painful for them. They tried to recollect everybody's face is visible. So nobody is missing, but there is no ten number, only nine number. So for, you know, they completely forgot about this Bhandara. Only they are, we are cursing themselves. Why did we come? What answer we are going to give to the teacher? Who is missing? Not knowing that who is missing, that is the most painful thing. At least they can say, okay, this fellow is missing, okay, we can cry, we can do something. Now here they cannot say who is missing. Now when they are breaking their head, and of course, a person comes, passes by, what happened? Oh, Brahmachari ji, what you guys are doing? Why you people are worried, counting going on, what is going on? He said, look, we came ten, but now we count only nine. He said, how is it? Count, started counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then this person said, hey, what about you? <laughs> hey, you are the tenth man. That man who is missing, the tenth man was missing, is none other than you. So that's what we say, dasamo nashtha. So here, interestingly, what I am seeking, what is missing in me, is me. <laughs> so here he says, dasamasya parigyane, by knowing that I am tenth person, <laughs> I don't feel good. I don't have any hat. I don't have any feather. In fact, I will imagine or I will recollect how stupid I was. That's why we say enlightenment is nothing. Knowing and accepting one's own stupidity. You cannot afford to be a stupid. If you become stupid, you are not really in the path of enlightenment either. That's why you cannot show up anything. There cannot be, need not be any sort of arrogance in life. That's why he says beautifully, dasamasya parijyantin no ayasaha. So there is no effort, there is no exertion unless your mind is prepared and Guru should be there, both. You should be willing to listen to, but unfortunately, students listen to the teacher according to their convenient. So everything is pre-planned, only I will listen to this person, not other person. Only this area, that is going to be benefited to me. If not, I am sorry. That is what happens. And when that happens, the student becomes a loser. However, he says, how it is effortless. Tatha sosya vijyat, sosya brahmatma vijyani. So also knowing Brahman as Atman. We all want to be, you know, secure. We want happiness. That happiness, that security is me. That is Brahman indeed. And Brahman is not other than me. So what is missing is me. What is seeking, what I am seeking is me. The seeker and short are one and same. The knower and the object of knowledge are one and same. Continue. Upeksha upadhi kan doshan guhyante vishaya yatha Upeksha drushyam yat brahma iti vedanta dindimaha Upadhi kan doshan upeksha vishaya yatha If we observe Whenever we buy any objects, vishaya, 
what we do suppose you go to any shop to buy especially not any shop gold uh, jewelry shop to buy let us say golden gold jewelry now what you do you try to look at bangle you to try to look at your necklace you to indian case bangle so other cases now necklace chain this that you know lot of things are there now when you look at do you pay for okay now the paying time you have to pay for <laughs> everything but in that do you look at the gold or what do you look at so mainly you pay for gold so we can take another example this is example literally funny especially when you go to do you know this um, sugar candy shop so this is a very safe example okay so different type of candies are available shape size color you know funny things and they give in a way now what do you look at in that you look at only sugar nothing else the all objects are only sugar but the child if is there what child will do no 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 mama i don't want this thing can you go for that okay so here he says beautifully aupadikan doshan upekshya the sugar candies have different type of upadhi different type of shape and size of course color you don't look at them you discard them mentally but you buy them as sugar just weighing sugar you bring it so also he says like how you do it same thing he says sarvam drushyam yat sarvam drushyam upeksha that whatever is seen all the color and form that we see now we need to discard them and what we need to accept the acceptance or the understanding of brahman so while seeing any object while dealing with any people while dealing with anything let me look at brahman continuing सुखमलपं बहु क्लेश विषयग्राहीण आनंद ब्रह्म निष्ठादिडिम सुखम अल्प बहु क्लेश नृण विषयग्राही दिषयग्राही सो द no one here people actually Th- those people who seek pleasures so where nanruna these people when they seek pleasures for them do you know what happens alpam sukham bahu klesa hoyte little bit pleasure they get but more pain more suffering <laughs> lot of pain but little bit joy Where is Brahmanishthanam Anantamiti? Where is the one who is committed to Brahman? The Sukham is endless. That's why in Taittiriya Upanishad comes Soka Mayata. Sorry, no, no, I made a mistake. Not Soka Mayata. No. Oh, oh, the. the mantra is not coming to me na uh, uh, no no <laughs> okay the mantra is not coming chandriyas bruhaspatera anand okay mantra is exactly not coming bruhaspatera anand so anandas are being divided so what ananda indra is enjoying then slowly it goes final anand comes shotriya chaka mahasat mahatasya ए श्रोत्रिय ब्रह्मनिष्ठ ए ज्ञानी एंजॉयज आनंद मच मोर दैन ये दैन इंद्र इनफैक्ट लॉट ऑफ स्टोरीज गोज रिलेटेड टू दिस हाउ एंड वाई दिस टू वर्सेस आई कैन ब्रिंग मेनी स्टोरीज यू नो 
there was a sadhu especially in winter he was sitting and the king came to know that there is a sadhu and thought of giving something and reach there and talking to him, look i am here to give you please ask me whatever you want i am ready to give you sadhu did not bother again and again finally sadhu got really angry hey look what can you give if you want to do a favor will you please move away so that sunlight will fall on me that is what i want <laughs> that is called the strength and of course you know the life of common people is little bit joy in order to achieve that little joy pain 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 again after achieving that joy again pain pain and pain so in short the pain continues so life is you know always beaten up have you not observed beaten up by somebody beaten up by likes and dislikes beaten up by society beaten up by mm, mm. so whole life is nothing me being beaten up by anything and everything so that's why here it says beautifully that those who are vishaya grahina those who seek pleasure definitely they do get pleasure but very little but in their life klesha pain is much more whereas brahmanishthana when the commitment is towards brahman please understand definitely there is no dukham at all more of it we will see it tomorrow please close your eyes पुनमद पुनमुदच्य पुन से पुनमादा पुनमेवशिष्य ओं शाति शाति शाति